things get people talking, we want to hear from you. Fridays on the 4 on 5, we take hot topics to the streets. Today, a holiday edition. Brianna Hollis asks last minute shoppers about their favorite Christmas gifts. Oh, I help a lot of charities and stuff like that. I just try to pick up food and clothing and you know, support the charities and orphanages. Yeah. Okay, so one year <laughs> I was like 12 and I got my mom a necklace and it was like way too small for her neck and she tried to put it on and it came up right. <laughs> My favorite this year was my Kate Spade purse and um, my Nike Air Maxes. My favorite Christmas gift, I'll be honest, is my crust. It's over there. A drone. Ooh, a drone. What about you? He said I'm happy because he had. It's all about them. It's not about me, about Christ. Such a cute story. I love the answers from the kids. I know we just laughed about it. The microwave. I, so the cute. microwave, and I guess that also shows that jewelry is not always a safe present on right? Christmas. You got to make sure that necklace I fits. <laughs> I know. I'm just imagining that guy at 12 years old, so excited oh. to give his mom this necklace. I bet she still absolutely loved it and was so excited. Of but course, maybe just... maybe a bracelet. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Repurpose it. So we've pretty much had the same crop for the whole week working the holidays here. So we've been talking a lot. We spent a lot of time together. Oh yes. So <laughs> We've been getting into a conversation about what the funniest or strangest Christmas presents we've ever gotten are. We've been waiting for this moment. We haven't shared ours with each other yet. So, Dana, let's go. All right, so I had an answer planned for you. I was going to tell you all about this electric <laughs> fly swatter I got when I was a kid. What? But then yesterday, we got some packages in, and this morning I opened it for my sister, and I got these little alligator mouths that squeeze your lime, and it goes into your drink in a straw. So the alligators eat your lime. <laughs> I, I've never seen it, like, is ever. A, is that a Florida thing? I have never heard of them before. I don't know. <laughs> I think she got them on Amazon or something like that. So, what's yours? Okay, so strangely enough, mine also has to do with animals. But oh, no. I was alive. I'm cheating a little bit. This was a birthday present. But in sixth grade, this girl out of nowhere got me a frog. And it's one of only a few species of frogs that has teeth. And it was just the absolute. <laughs> what? Yes, it's a Pac-Man frog. I named it Cheese Puff, and it had teeth, and I was really scared of it. Oh I took care of it, but it was just, it was a mess. My parents were not happy, and that was, uh, that was, a, that was a rough six months for Cheese Puff. Man, she is lucky she didn't give that to me. I would be <laughs> out the door. You know I'm terrified of frogs, and hearing that it had teeth, now a frog could bite me? Oh, my goodness, I would jet. Right? <laughs> All right, let's put this on the other side now. What's the strangest thing you've ever given? I would probably have to say I don't. I don't really know. I mean, as far as like giving things, I usually give pretty normal things. Um, I, I'm not really <laughs> sure. I mean, I guess maybe if I was getting a 3D printer, I wasn't quite Wait, sure. But that's about really that. cool. I mean, it's cool. It's just <laughs> weird. I mean, I'm not really sure. I give pretty normal things. That's fair. But I'm guessing that you have. Well. <laughs> It was more so the reaction of what I got. I got my sister a pan when she was like seven. She was really excited about cooking. <laughs> she just like put it on her head, and it was oh. really funny. She didn't really know what to do with it. It could always be a hat. Exactly. A great hat. <laughs> she was excited though. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Bree. Everybody, take a look out for Bree if you see her out the streets. Yes, She's got some Fridays. hot topics, so make sure you go and get an interview in.